What's up everybody? Welcome back, Main Fly Guys here. I'm gonna talk about how to get the most pop out of your brain dead poppers. And they're so fantastic, a really great new product on the market. I highly suggest getting some brain dead poppers. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start off here. If you wanna skip ahead to see just how to get the most pop out of the popper, then go ahead, but I'm gonna do a full fly here. This is some pseudo marabou. This is some hairline pseudo marabou. And I'm gonna lay that down right on top. This is a two aught um, Gamakatsu B10S, I think is what it's called. So I'm gonna tie that marabou in right on top. And I'm just gonna flip it over itself. I'm using some pretty stiff red thread. I'm not sure what it is, but pretty stiff. So when I have it, what I'm gonna do is cut it about a shank's length behind. There we go. And it'll just kind of puff up and, and be this little puffy center. If you want it to sort of combine a little bit better, you can just comb it out and those fibers will get sort of really nice and, and collected and it'll be a much neater, um, much neater little backing. If you're worried about this slipping, which you certainly can be for sure, um, you can just put some super glue down right there. So the next step, I take some dubbing. This is some ice dubbing, not a whole lot. See here, just not a crazy amount. What I do is I kind of line it up and then I veil it. So I just kind of veil it around. It's quite messy but I just veil it and then I just pull all these fibers trapped out front back and then just catch a few. Then I'll just brush out any fibers that and so that's what you end up with. You see this nice veil. I mean it's a great technique to, to veil dubbing. It really gets a nice sort of messy look to it. So I really like that. Um, Next, I come in on each side with, these are some yellow feathers, just some general um, haddle sackle, and I want them, they'll always have a bend to them. See that bend? I want them to flare out just a bit. So I make sure that they are flaring out, kind of, this is sort of a frog that we're trying to imitate. Um, so you can't really tell there, but they're flaring out there a bit. Um, so I'm always trying to get them to look like legs. They have quite a bit of movement in the water too. So I do the same thing on both sides. I've already pre-measured these feathers so that they are the same length. Let's make sure we get that right. There we go. So you see how they kind of have a nice flare out there. I really like that. Then I'll just lock them in. Boom. Trim the excess, as our as our friend Davy McPhee would say. Okay. So now this is really the rest. This is really all we have to work with because I have basically the brain deads, you know, to see. Okay, so that's where it's going to fit, right? It's going to fit just like that. So we really only have that little bit left. That's really all we have. And for that, I have two more feathers. These are uh, just some, again, really sort of wider uh, hackle here. I like to tie them in. I'm gonna keep this here because I'm gonna tie it down anyways. And then I just palmer them backwards, moving forward. And this can be as bushy as you want because it's going to fill that little gap that's there. And there we are. Once you've reached your spot that you're like, all right, I can't really, that's where the brain dead popper goes, lock them in. I don't fold anything over or anything because I like to build up this little section 
I like to build up this section here because that's where the brain dead popper is going to go. And so what I like to do is just build that section up. This way it's a tighter fit. You know, it's a tighter fit for the popper. Um, and so when we glue it down, it won't have as much wiggle room. And that usually makes a nice, neat, much more solid um, gluing. All right, so that's really the quick popper, super easy. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually take some super glue and I'm gonna put it on it. But before I say that, there is a preparation that you need to make with your brain dead. All right, if you wanna maximize the gurgling or the popping, then you need to, you cannot have this be straight. You cannot have it be straight like this. It needs to be tipped down a little bit. The tipping down will catch that leading edge, will catch a lot more water pushing down. It will make a louder sound. If it's like this, it will still pop. I mean, it'll still pop just fine if it's straight up and down, no problem. But if you're looking to maximize the gurgling or the popping, then you wanna have it tilted down like so. You'll see how that is tipped down just a little bit, right? Not a lot, just a little bit. That is what you're looking for. So, what I'll do is I'll apply an ample amount of super glue on the top, on the bottom. And then we'll just slide that right on. It's important that you get it right the first time as far as positioning because once it sets, that's it. It's all over. All right, let's see here. That looks great. See that? I mean, that's just a great popper. And you, oh, when you get this in the water, like you will be amazed at how loud the popping is. The other thing that I really like about the brain deads is that you really do not need, usually you need to heat up your bodkin to puncture a hole through it. And so I'm gonna puncture a hole out back here for legs, but these you do not need to heat up your bodkin at all. You can just use the right amount of force and it will go right through. So I'm just trying to line up where I want my legs. I kind of want them to, let's see if I can poke a hole here. Kind of want them to go right about there-ish. Let's see how well I can target that hole. I think we're doing okay. So yeah, you can literally just push. Am I gonna hit it? Let's find out. Ooh, wow, that was a good one. So you can literally just push your bodkin right through with just a little bit of force. It's really not hard at all. Um, wow, that was great, actually. Um, and so here, I'm just gonna slide these legs through, these sort of yellowish, greenish legs. I'm gonna slide them through. Um, normally, I would use a threader but uh, I, what you use to thread your bodkin is what most people use. That's what normal people use. I broke it this morning on accident. And so I am having to use a piece of thread and a needle. See this combobulation? Come on. There we go. Yeah, I know. Thread and a needle. You know what I mean? Tough times. Here's my... You can see what I did to my... Yikes. Not good. Um, Alright, so I get my legs through. And you can do whatever you want with your legs. I don't like them to go past the yellow feathers. I definitely don't like them to go that. So these are a little long, so I'll give them a little bit of a trim.
And you can do your best to trim them up. We'll just add a little, again, just some leg action. And I'll try to even them out. I do not glue them yet because I can still slide them to and from and really make sure that they have, that they're pretty even. Once they're even, then I'll just come in with a dab of super glue or UV resin. The super glue is right here, so I'm gonna use it. That will keep them nice and stiff. You can always bend them back too and hit them with UV if you want, something like that. But super glue works just fine to me. All right, and then our last step. Our last step is to add eyes. And so, you know, you can pick whatever eye you want. You can have a big eye, something like this. You can have a big eye or you can have a little eye or medium eye. So to put the eye on, all I do is drop a little bit of super glue where you want the eye, place the eye on, just like so. And then I let it dry, so I'll do the same thing on the other side. Try to get them in the same spot, although it's not, it's pretty hard for a fish to see both sides of this, but actually that's pretty great. So I make sure those are on there, nice and solid. And then, just to add a little extra protection, although the, the super glue does a great job, I'll take some UV glue and I'll make sort of a casing. Just make one continuous case. Just like so. That casing, you see, adds a nice little bubble to it. And that little bubble really resembles a really good frog eye. Does it help, that bubble? You can see it there, it's a nice bubble. Um, I don't know, I don't really think so, but eh, you never know, you never know. And there you have it. That is your brain dead. This one, the more aggressive that you tilt it down, the more aggressive it pops, you know? And so if you're looking to maximize popping, go crazy with it. Tip it down, tip it way down. You know what I mean? Um, but if you just want a subtler prop, then keep it straight. And uh, yeah, I've been using the brain deads all summer and they have been just like ridiculous I mean absolutely ridiculous how well they have worked and how many big fish I have caught with them well, that's a good one um, so yeah brain dead poppers I highly suggest them Frankenfly is the one who makes them great 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 Paul I, I believe is his name great great company great guy um, so yeah please support them and, and go buy these because they are super fun to work with and uh, they hold a permanent marker really well so I like to put a little you know red lip on it something like that and it stays really well even after you know you've caught 50 fish on it so um, thank you for watching if you guys have any questions about these feel free I would love to um, to talk about them and uh, hopefully We'll see you guys next time. Please check out our podcast in the film. We just had a discussion about what makes a fly. You know, is this a fly? Does this count as a fly? I think it does. But um, we had a great discussion about it, so please go listen to that new episode in the film found anywhere podcasts are found. So uh, thank you all for the support, and we will see you next time.